Welcome to Ward Street Files. In today's episode, we're going to be making a fermented hot sauce. Um, it's a take on a recipe from Bon Appetit. It's alive. Um, so let's get started. Oh, and these flowers are from my neighbor Molly. She brought them over. They're just really nice. I wanted to show them off real quick. Okay, so we got habaneros and we have red fresnos. So we're gonna chop these up, um, take the caps off and clean them out, get the seeds out and so forth. Um, and we'll take it from there. I forgot something. All right, now let's take the caps off. I'm actually going to go to time lapse for this. Alright, I also kind of nerd out on this stuff too, where I want to know exactly what, how much of the peppers I'm using each time and all that stuff, so I write down no weight. So we've got some habaneros and fresnos. So what I do is, you don't have to do this, but what I like to do is put this on and then tear it. And then, okay, see here 103 grams. Habaneros. I shouldn't have taken my gloves off. Oh, let's see. Ah, okay. I'll just wash them. Alright, and we have 597 grams of fresnels. Alright, so now those all can be together. So we've got a total of 700 grams. So we need some cardamom pods. So some whole cardamom pods like this. All right, throw those in. I have five, and then peppercorns. I use black peppercorns. Ten of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. coriander powder is here. Pinch. Pinch of paprika. Double pinch on this one. One allspice nug. I almost forgot to tie it. It was a little deeper, so that was good. That's good. Four cloves of garlic. Do six tablespoons of salt. One, two, three, four, five, six. Same thing with sugar. Yeah. 
Now it's time just to add some water. So I'm gonna add just a little bit, but in total we're gonna do eight cups. So I'll just I'll be right back. Peppers. There's still seeds, you know, I didn't like completely get all the seeds out, but that's it. All right, so we've got all the peppers in there. Let's finish off this. And then put four more cups in. That's gonna do it. So close it up. Give it a nice little shake. Get things moving around in there. All right. So what you want to do now, if you do this at home, is you're gonna to want to burp it every day, and you know check it every day, and in around 10 days it'll be time to bottle. In which case I can refer you to a video from a while back which, you know what, I'll just post it in the bottom corner, right here. That's, that's where it will be. Okay, later. It's right there. That's the spot.